Now, today's guest contacted me saying he found it very interesting how on this show we create awareness for technology and not just in the way of highlighting sexy new devices. And he thanked me for highlighting how technology is helping to change industries. And I'm a sucker for a compliment. But this is the second message that I've received this week on this same subject. And I think it's really highlighting that people want more from technology than just another iPhone or a Samsung smartphone. And after recording over 700 interviews, I've learned that everything happens for a reason. And as this podcast gets beamed to you all over the world, many of you will be spending together as a family. And there will be three to four generations all under one roof. But take a look around. The senior members of your family will not be staring down at a device. They'll be living in the moment. But equally, do they feel that they're missing out? This got me thinking because I've seen that we're all caught up in this digital world where our lives are being made easier by using tech solutions from everything from banking to even entering a doctor's surgery. But what about the older generation that have not been used to tech? And even if they are and they want to learn, the equipment is simply not suitable because it's not designed for them. And I think there's a danger of them being left behind and it must be incredibly daunting and maybe even scary living in a tech-obsessed world that you know nothing about and don't know how it works. These are just a few reasons why I invited Scott from Grandpad on the show today. And Grandpad, for me, is a great example of how technology works best when it brings people together. And it's also transforming how older people, and when I say this, I mean 75 plus, are actually staying connected with their family and their friends. So yes, it is Christmas and most of us are enjoying family time. If you want a good example of how technology really does work best when it brings people together, I implore you to listen to today's episode and watch the video that accompanies today's show over on my website, techblogwriter.co.uk. Go to podcasts and you'll find it there. But enough from me. Buckle up and hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to Minneapolis so we can speak with Grandpad CEO and co-founder Scott Lien, who will tell us all about Grandpa. <laughs> So, a massive warm welcome to the show, Scott. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, well, thanks for having me, Neil. And uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Grandpad. And what I love to do is build teams that love solving complicated problems that have not been solved before. So, it, that's things like uh, 11 years ago when I was CIO at Bank of America, I uh, was part of the online banking team, and we were really one of the first big banks uh, in the U.S. to figure out how to do mobile banking on this new gadget that had just come out called the iPhone. And, uh, of course, that all seems really old uh, old hat and easy and passe for us all now, but at the time that was kind of a big breakthrough that, uh, and, you know, you recall people were pretty concerned, like, is this really secure? And so doing that in a simple and secure way was, was a big deal at the time. Um, and, and so now the last five years um, – at GrandPad, we have been focused on reconnecting this awesome group of people we lovingly call super seniors, those over the age of 75, and, and reconnecting them with their family, friends, and caregivers in a simple, safe, and secure way. It really unlocks and, and really makes some great things happen that we can talk more about. But uh, it's all about tackling, tackling hard design, engineering, customer service challenges, that we're focused on to kind of make that that dream come true. So that's what I do. Well, we are living in a digital world now, a digital mobile first world now. And I often think that the older generation and seniors often must feel completely left behind where they're stranded in this world where everyone's obsessed with tech. And it makes their lives easier, but they know nothing about how it works because they were not brought up with it. So I love the concept behind Grandpad and this simple and secure tablet computer aimed at older seniors but just for people tuning in right now that have never heard of it can you just set the scene and tell the listeners a little bit more about precisely what grandpad is and also the problems that you set out to solve absolutely so it, if you just look at it it, it kind of looks like an ipad it's yeah. an eight inch tablet form factor but that's really where the similarities end it's completely different than any what we uh, call standard technology out there because this is a uh, hardware software and service-based solution that was built from the ground up for this audience. So we worked with people 80, 90, 100 years old. The oldest um, 
uh, person that kind of helped us uh, on the testing and development was a beautiful soul called Anna, actually from Minnesota here, and she was 114 years old. And so what we did was spend time with these awesome people, and, and we, observed the, we observed all the challenges that they have with standard technology like iPads. And we learned that so many things, and, and these are the things that really make us different from standard technology and make it work so well.